Our next guest is yet another handsome man with the face of a Greek god and skin like a baby dolphin. His extremely animated new movie is called Migration. Come on, we gotta get ready. Mac, ready for what? Nothing, just, you know, for our big, super fun family migration. What? Ha! Bet you didn't see that coming. Uh, are you serious? Yep, an adventure into the totally unknown. And I'm gonna love it. Migration opens the theaters December 22nd. Say hello to Kamel Nanjani. How are you? I'm doing great. It's great to see you. Thanks for coming. Oh, thanks for having me. Look what I have. This. Oh, that is very familiar to me. So and this, I... I was at my friend Martin Starr's wedding. Him and uh, Alex got married. And he had these sake cups made. Uh, this is based on my cat, Bagel. Here based I... on your... And it's made by your daughter. That's right. My daughter, Katie, yeah. made Look these. Look at that. I'll artist. show you what she made. It looks like that car. Oh, that is Bagel. Look at her. So your friend had specific custom cups made for each pet owner at the... I think the ones that he loved. That he liked the most, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and so wow, we got that. Wow, that's pretty that cool. beautiful? Yeah. I mean, did you know that Katie had made these, or did he tell you this? I uh, Look underneath. Oh, it says her name on it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it says... Yeah, I guess that, may, that explains it. Yeah, Bagel. Uh, yeah, Bagel, huh? Nice. Yeah, her name Are you, like, crazy about Bagel? I love Bagel too much. Like it's a problem, we call her uh, Everything Bagel because she is everything to us. Oh, really? Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> Our love for her is disgusting. She just turned 15. Oh, okay. Yeah, what does that reaction mean? <laughs> I, I, I know how time works, Jimmy. <laughs> it's not a surprise. I've never owned a cat. How long, what's the lifespan on a cat? Uh, hundreds of years, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Yeah, 15 is, you know, pretty advanced for a cat. Yeah. But people always have that reaction. When I'm like, she turned 15, they're like, oh. Like, when George mentioned his dad was 90, you weren't like, oh, <laughs> you know? You don't do that for humans. It wasn't, it wasn't, oh, it was, oh. <laughs> it was more of an, oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, at least you'll always have the cup. And my cat because I will pass before she does. <laughs> and you know, it, it sort of snuck up on me that she's quite advanced at, fif at 15, because you know, with cats, there are no like markers for passage of time. Like they don't like learn to drive and get married, <laughs> go to college. Like I got Bagel when she was this little. Uh -huh. I got her when she was two weeks, this little. A Couple months later, she was this big. And since then, she has looked exactly the same <laughs> and learned zero new things. <laughs> she still doesn't understand English. And so it was a shock when we took her to the vet a few years ago and they were like, you know, with geriatric cats. I was like, what do you mean geriatric? This is a little baby. Are you an idiot? <laughs> were you offended and startled by that? Yeah, I pulled yeah. out a laser pointer. Like, is this the behavior of an adult? <laughs> Yeah, the word geriatric is loaded. It's very intense. They use that with pregnancies with women who are in their early 40s. They'll say it's a geriatric pregnancy, and I imagine they get hit a lot. Oh, I, I would think that that would mean that you're going to have, like, a really old baby. <laughs> like, like a, a Benjamin Button yeah, type? Yeah, like yeah. an old Brad Pitt baby. <laughs> um, but we were in London earlier this year, and I brought Bagel with, with us because of... Oh. Love her too much, and she started having some health issues. Oh. Yeah, and so we took her to the vet, and there were a bunch of tests, and then the final sort of meeting where they told us, you know, there's a British vet, and he's telling us what's wrong with her, and it wasn't, you know, it's not great news. And um, I knew it wasn't going well, the meeting, because as soon as I got home, the first thing I did was I Googled, are vets even real doctors? <laughs> Turns out they are. <laughs> they have to go to school and everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like, you know, for human doctors, they have to deal with the human body. Vets have to deal with every other kind of body in the universe. Like you could take in an iguana or a peacock and they'd have to be like, all right, let's see what's going on inside this thing. Yeah. They have to know where the butthole is on both those things. 
Our doctors, not only do they only have to deal with the human body, they each take a part. They're like, I'm yeah. the ear, nose, and throat. Yeah. I'll take the heart. I'll take, you know, the Yeah, the and this is like all parts of every animal. <laughs> yeah, it's and, true. Uh, That's so he a was, really good point. They're yeah. like super doctors. Exactly. I think it's just like there's big animal and small animal doctors, and that's just based on the size of the table that they have. <laughs> <laughs> right? You can't put a cat on a horse table. You, you don't have... A, you can't put a horse on a cat table, as the old vet saying goes. Yeah. That's the first thing they teach you <laughs> at vet school. Don't put a horse on a cat table. <laughs> And so, so he's telling me this, and uh, you know, sort of bad news, and I don't know what my face did, but this British man got really awkward, and he started like looking for something, and he couldn't find what he was looking for. And then, you know that doctors have that table paper yep. that they pull out that's made of the same material as like toilet seat covers in airports? <laughs> That paper that's somehow really thin and really hard at the same time, <laughs> like a loud paper. <laughs> he rips off a piece and gives it to me. And I'm like, oh, he thinks I'm gonna cry. And so I'm like, I don't need this. I'm not gonna, and before I can finish, just tears, tears down my face. And I'm like now trying to use this piece of paper and it's not absorbent at no. all. <laughs> I'm just relocating the tears around my face. <laughs> I have tears on my forehead, which is a new sensation. <laughs> and I've crumpled it, it's real sharp. I'm cutting up my face, <laughs> just like a wet, scratched up face. <laughs> I walk out looking like Freddy Krueger in the rain. This is, this is ridiculous. No wonder he's not dealing with humans, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I did not handle it well. And so now we have like a, a bunch of meds to give her, which, I don't know if you've ever tried medicating a cat. No, I haven't, no. It's the new Saw movie, one of the challenges is they have to medicate a cat. <laughs> Everyone dies. It's hard, huh? It's hard, so we have to give her five pills a day, and they're like, it's easy, just put it in her food. And so we're like, okay, it's not, imagine if you're at a restaurant and you're eating spaghetti and there's five Tylenols in it. <laughs> You get suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be like, this restaurant sucks. <laughs> I'm leaving. Well, my back doesn't hurt anymore. Well, it's interesting. Now that you're playing, you know so much about animals, and now you're playing a duck, which really can come in handy in a lot of ways. Yeah, I did, I did very little research. You did no research, huh? I Googled, well, I know one thing about ducks, but you don't want to know what it is. Oh, really? It's a bad, it's not a good thing. Is it, does it involve foie gras? No, I guess there's two bad things. There's two bad things, about. yeah. <laughs> wow, what's the bad thing about a duck? They have spiral-shaped penises. Oh, they do? Yeah, so, you know, I've found some common ground. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, I, did, I, I knew that about pigs. I did know, not know that ducks had that, too. <laughs> These are just the male ducks, I'm guessing. J just, yeah, just yeah. the male ducks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for their body, <laughs> they're, they're sizable. Uh, uh, really? Compared to the size of, like, for, like, it, it's like, percentage-wise, it's a big penis. Yeah, really? <laughs> and that's what attracted you to the part? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I have to say, I, I thank you because uh, it's great to have a really good, funny, animated movie over the holidays. Right, and because, you know, you have a couple, uh, there's migration with Talking Ducks and then uh, George's movie, so you have a couple different options. Like, we didn't have to audition an actor to play Hitler. You had no, there's no Hitler job? <laughs> no, although I did audition to play Hitler for his movie. He did. <laughs> yeah, and they said I didn't quite nail the accent. <laughs> <laughs> good mail now, Johnny, everybody. Migration is his movie. It opens in theaters December 22nd. We'll be back with Lenny Kravitz.